All right, folks, we're almost there. So we got our triggers. Now we're going to look back at our reflections and find out better ways to handle those triggers, or how can I avoid them? What could I do next time? All right, and then again, I'm going to illustrate it. So let's go back. And here are my triggers. Let's go back, though, to my reflections. I didn't write in my reflections. I'm being a bad example right now. But basically what I'm going to do, let's go back to the top one as an example. Um, and I'm going to look at it and figure out what I could do. So I had a, so what happened, right? What was I thinking about? Uh, well, I had a lot of work to do. I ended up working the whole weekend, not resting. Then I was tired all week long. And when I got home at night, I just wanted to go to bed. Okay, so working through the weekend, that was a big trigger. And it would tired me out and all that kind of stuff. So possible solution for that, just looking at that reflection, right? What could I do to avoid that? Is actually more or less just kind of going back to this other thing. Uh, I went to that training and fell behind. So next time, right, if I am going to miss work for a training or something else, I can schedule more time for a deadline specific work before uh, the week before, right? So if I had done that, I wouldn't have gotten so stressed out by that. Uh, the training because I would have already been a little bit ahead of my work. I still might have had to work a little bit on the weekend, but certainly less. So I could have done a better job with some of my scheduling in terms of what was the most important to get it done um, before that training so I didn't fall behind or feel like I had a deadline that I just had to do all this work over the weekend. Okay, um, I can look through some of my other triggers, right? Uh, right, job duties taking more time than I first thought. Okay, how do I deal with that? Well, uh, you know, I can't really change the fact that it's taking more time, but I can spend more time on my schedule figuring out how I can have uh, non-curriculum work happen closer together. So what I mean by that is when I'm thinking about it, and this would have been in my reflection, right, is that uh, basically my non-job duties, I go to one office to do my kind of curriculum work, and then I come back to the middle school, I work in the high school to do some of my other work, and I tend to go back and forth. I'm not doing a very good job of saying, like, full afternoon, I am just doing curriculum, full morning, I'm doing this other stuff. So there are things that I could do to schedule more time so that, you know, one chunk of time is just doing my non-curriculum stuff, and one chunk of time is curriculum, and that would actually help me focus and probably get better work done and, and spend um, better time on it. So that's definitely a solution. So you're going to go through again, come up with a solution, at least one for every trigger, ideally a couple, um, and list them here, and then have some images to go with that.